In this tutorial, we're looking at the HTML Helper and Code Igniter. The main advantage of using the HTML Helper are that you don't need to break out of PHP to write HTML, and also the content inside the tags can be generated dynamically. In other cases, it will just save you a lot of time because you don't need to type so much. Let's first go over to our controller here, and we're running this function right now, and I'm loading in the helper like so. The HTML helper is one of the helpers that you might need across a lot of different of your pages. So in that case, you'll want to go to under the config folder and then auto load. And you'll want to load it in here. That way you won't have to specify inside your controllers. Uh, you won't need to load it into them because it will already be loaded. Let's go over to our view and the first helper that we're looking at is the doc type helper which is right here. So what we'll do is we'll pass in uh, the kind of doc type that we want. If you want to know the different things that you can pass in here, we can go to the Code Igniter helpers page and you're going to scroll down here to doc type here and under option it's going to show you the different things that you can pass in here and that's going to output the HTML that you want. Um, the next one we're going to look at is the meta helper. So I'm going to show you this in two different ways. So right here I'm echoing out the meta function and the first thing I'm passing in is um, which it will, it's the meta description in this case and I'm providing the value here. So let's take a look at that and let's see what kind of HTML we got. So I'm going to go, well I have everything already loaded here, but if we go over to the source here, we can see that what it did was the first parameter was um, was the name, okay, and we gave it description, and the second parameter was what to put for the content one. So the first one was name, the second one was content, and we passed the values in there and we got this output. The next one I'm going to show you is, first of all, we're creating this meta variable and we're setting it to a multi-dimensional array. So we have an array here and inside of this array, there's three other arrays and we have a key and a value, a key and a value. So we're just passing in the keys and values here and then we are um, echoing out the meta function and we're passing in this multi-dimensional array. Let's take a look at the HTML for that and we can see that it's all of this I believe and oh and the robots too. So these three. Okay, let's go back to the code. Um, this is, well this isn't uh, an HTML helper. This title just comes from um, I created the data variable right here, okay? Data, the element is title, so when we, um, if we want to use that in the view, we just go dollar sign title. The next one we're going to look at is the link tag. So I have the link tag function right here, and what I'm doing is I'm passing in the path. Okay, here, here we have a relative path. So what this is linking to is I create a folder here. You can do the same if you want. Um, in my root directory, okay, I have this resources right here. Resources styles.css and I just have some simple styles there. And that is going to create, let's see here, this one, okay? So we're linking in our CSS there. The next one we're going to look at is the heading one. So the heading one is pretty simple. Um, the first thing we're passing in is uh, the content. The second one is which one do you want? Do you want H1, H2, H3? Here I'm creating an H3, here I'm creating an H5. And in this one, the first, well, we, have all, we have an optional third parameter here on our H4 and we're passing in um, a key value, uh, key value pair here. Class is important. Let's take a look at that. 
Oops. And so we have our first header, second header, and the third one, and this one has a class, and that's why it looks like that. Let's take a look at the HTML for that, and that is right here. H4 class is important. Okay. Let's keep going. Next one is in um, the image helper, and we just go IMG and then pass in um, pass in the source of the image. Uh, in the next one, I'm using the the ne next one right here. I'm passing in an array to the image. So here we're passing in all sorts of app attributes: source attribute, alt, height, and whatever else you want. Um, we have the key and the value. Uh, let's look at the HTML for that. And I believe that is, if I can find it here, right here. So image, and then we have the alt tag, height, title. You could pass in as many attributes as you want. So here I have the image and the second image. It's smaller because I gave it a height of 35 pixels. It's pretty straightforward. Um, the next one we'll talk about is the break tag here. So the break one is um, actually I think one of the more useful ones. So we can um, just echo it out like this, br, and then uh, two parens, and that's going to create one break tag. And I believe I can pass an integer in here. Let's just make a comparison. So right now uh, we just have one break tag. Let's try passing in five here and let's refresh and we can see we created five break tags that's why that opened up so you just however many you want you just pass the um, pass the number in there um, this NBS is non-breaking spaces so here you just pass in how many non-breaking spaces you want and let's take a look at that yeah it's right here there's five spaces in front um, if you find yourself needing to create a whole bunch of non-breaking spaces in your document, you're probably doing something wrong uh, because I don't think that's the way you're supposed to make websites. You probably want to look at some CSS options for moving things around uh, rather than using uh, non-breaking spaces. But uh, sometimes these will be useful and you can create them easily like that. Let's keep going. So the next thing is this uh, UL function. And what we're passing in here is uh, we're first passing in, well, I'm passing in this list array here. And then I'm passing in the attributes right here. So let's take a look at the source for that, our first UL tag. And that should be, that should be, ah, here we are. So UL starting here class of list, ID of my list, and then the four list items, and then the UL. And we create that by passing in two arrays, the items here, the list items, and the attributes. Uh, we have another UL here, and um, same thing. Or, sorry, we're creating an array here of attributes. And here we have, uh, we're passing in a multi-dimensional array. This is from the CodeIgniter site. If you want to try it yourself, just um, get it from there. But let's take a look at how this output. And we can see here that we have, um, this is a UL, these are list items. Inside of this, there's another UL nested inside with three list items. I think the easiest way is just going to be to look at the source and we can see that it starts here and it goes all the way down to to here so basically what happens here is that each time you create an array here it's going to create um, a new UL tags uh, some UL tags and each one of the um, elements of the array is going to be a new list item and you can nest that as far as you want and get this sort of result.
And that's all I wanted to talk about for this tutorial and see you in the next one.